How about it for the football players that came out tonight to hang yeah. out with us? Give them a round of applause over here. Roadrunners getting a lot of love before playing football tonight in Big Board Sports. This was the scene on the campus of UTSA last night where the Roadrunners held a giant pep rally before facing the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers tonight in the Dome for a shot at their first ever Conference USA Championship. Head coach Jeff Trailer was on hand along with Mayor Ron Nirenberg, School President Taylor Amy, UTSA Athletic Director Lisa Campos, cheerleaders, and the entire football team. Coach Trailer thanked the fans and then had some fun with them. I feel like I know all of you. I think we passed out cookies, donuts, pizza. I apologize that I've introduced myself more than once to you, but we are so grateful. Uh, your support this year has just been fantastic. I do want to practice if you don't mind. All right, we're going to practice real quick. You ready? Bailey Zappi is supposedly, supposedly the best quarterback in the country. He wears number four, right? Number four, right? Very good. I'm going to pretend like I'm him. All right, so when I run on the field, that's when y'all get loud as you can, right? Now, look, we're not done. When you see him communicate with his hands, he's changing the play then, right? So what do we do then? We get louder, right? So we're going to practice. I'm Bailey Zappi. I'm running out on the field right now. You ready? Here I come. Good. Be very loud when the Hilltoppers have the ball. Here's the matchup. WKU versus UTSA, 6 p.m at the Alamo Dome. The Incarnaburg Cardinals are in the second round of the FCS playoffs for the first time in school history. They'll face number one ranked and undefeated Sam Houston State Bearcats tomorrow in Huntsville. This after knocking off Stephen F. Austin at home last weekend, 35-28 in overtime. We definitely, you know, we're trying to prove something on Saturday that, you know, we can play with the with the top teams in the nation because, you know, we haven't really got respect much of the year. Uh, we'll see, you know, they got some good defensive players for sure, so it'll be fun to just go out there. You know, one of the best offenses against one of the best defenses, so we'll see how it matches up. Kickoff tomorrow, Huntsville is set for 2 p.m. One of the most anticipated rematches of the playoffs, 13-0 Shiner taking on 13-0 Refurio in the Class 2A state quarterfinals last night. Comanche strike quickly after a Tyler Bishop interception. Dalton Brooks hurdles over a defender for a two-yard score and 7-0 Shiner. Later in the game, Dalton's brother Doug bursts through the line and is off to the race. Says, look at the big fellow weaving his way through the defense. Not just power, he's fast as well. All the way down to the two-yard line. Dalton finishes the drive off with a two-yard score. Comanche's roll into the state semis with the dominant 55-14 victory. Here are the stats. Dalton had 374 yards rushing and six touchdowns. Doug, 101 yards and two touchdowns. The defending state champions definitely looking good, and they go as the Brooks brothers go. Ah, yeah, definitely, for sure. All right, Larry, thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Larry. And SA Live is wrapping up Holly Jolly Week with a Flashback Friday. Mike and Fiona, what do you have for us today? Well, it is all about Christmas this week, and we are wrapping up our Holly Jolly Week. It's been <laughs> so much fun. Yes, and you know what they say, chili today, well, hot tamale. We're <laughs> making a chili recipe with a local chef and tamales with Chilitos Express. Okay, and it's time to get your sewing machine out. It's time to make your own ornaments and gifts. Some holiday projects that are so simple, you can do them with your kids. Then we're taking you out to James Avery for a sneak peek at all of their merry and bright new holiday jewelry. And if you're looking for the perfect gift, of course, shop local. Stephanie Pena Frost is here with a gift guide for everyone on your list. Great stuff. Then baking our day with the holiday treats. And of course, there's nothing to get you in the good Christmas food. We've got a great program with a lot of singing and music. And a special holiday program is coming up at First Baptist Church of San Antonio. All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Well, as a great Rihanna once said, cheers to the weekend. Plus, it's time to celebrate people who work hard to keep our happy hours happy. Today is National Bartender Day. It was founded to, of course, honor hardworking bartenders everywhere. So we're raising a toast to those who work everywhere, from dive bars where everyone knows each other to airport bars where they keep us company while we wait for our flights. And you can celebrate by making their jobs a little bit easier. Don't drink and drive. Mm -hmm. Volunteer to be the designated driver for your group. If your bartender offers a taxi, accept it. 
finally be sure to show them some extra love with a bigger tip. And hopefully there'll be a lot of celebration this evening. Katie, how about yeah. the weather for the tailgating? <laughs> Warm. Uh, it's going <laughs> to be feeling very uh, balmy or tropical. You'll be sweating in your holiday sweaters this weekend. So uh, dress accordingly. We'll have a couple more rounds of some morning fog and clouds through the weekend as well. Unfortunately, some drizzle will also be possible for the marathon on Sunday morning. And then finally, a bit more seasonable temperature wise in a drop in humidity by Monday. Guys, tropical without the beaches. Yes, man. Yeah, but good weekend. Thanks for joining us here at noon. From all of us here, thanks for joining us. SA Live starts right now. now. Today on SA Live, handmade gifts you can make for your family or for your tree at home. And you don't have to be a pro to sew these. When the temperature drops, it's time for some comfort food. We're cooking up a cold weather favorite with a local chef. And it's our biggest giveaway of the year. The prize for day two of KSAT's 12 day of Christmas giveaway and how you can enter to win. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Well, happy festive fun. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage, and we are kicking off the first Friday of December with our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. Yesterday, we announced the prize for day one, a family fun pack to Enchanted Springs Ranch with admission passes, mechanical bull rides, hot cocoa, s'mores for five, and today's winner will get all of that and the day two prize. It's a $164 gift card to Lala's Gorditas. You can feed the whole family with that and then some, and the gift card is not valid for tamales. You can enter the win at KSAT's 12 Days of Christmas giveaway right now at ksat.com slash 12 days. We also have a link on our Facebook page at SA Live KSAT. Each winner will get that day's prize and all the prizes for every day leading up to it. The day 12 winner takes home all 12 prizes and the grand prize is going to be announced on the SA Live Christmas special on December 17th at 1 p.m. And good luck. Well, of course, the season of giving is here. And so we're wondering, what are you looking forward to? to giving your friends and family throughout the holiday season. Yes, so that's what we want to know. If you could give someone anything for Christmas, what would you give them? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'd love to share some of that Christmas cheer throughout the show. I think people would like more time. I was going to say, I know what my mom would want. Yeah. Time, me e ha, time. Yes, Just Give indeed. me time. That's all I want. <laughs> all right, so for those of us still doing our holiday shopping, we know someone who can make it a lot easier. Yeah, and she's all about sporting, supporting local too, so take a look. Small business owner Stephanie Pena Frost is here with a local gift guide. I'm so excited about this. And these are all places in and around town that you've even met at different markets, right? right? All of these are vendors that I've met at the different pop-up markets mm -hmm. that are all around San Antonio that I've met throughout the years. And the great thing is that they're all women-owned businesses Nice. Today. Support yes. those women-owned businesses. And we start with Silver Alert Designs. Silver Alert Designs. She does these beautiful uh, copper patina pieces that she actually patinas, that, which is antiquing the, the pieces all by hand and she does these absolutely amazing designs and she also oh, did, yes. is doing these Those really headbands. fun uh, fascinator headbands that are perfect for Ooh. holiday parties. Forget that the sweater, perfect. I'll wear this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun. People absolutely are going crazy over them and they're just, uh, just adorable as can be. <laughs> wow. Um, oh my yeah, gosh. I know. Adorable. They're just, and they're all handmade. Everything here is definitely handmade and one of a kind. Very nice. I can't move my head too much. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so next, the 3PD leather, right? The 3PD uh, um, artisan leather goods. It's uh, beaut beautifully done, hand dyed, hand worked leather, and this is great for men with the dop kit, the uh, the wallet, the, the the little key ring. Great gifts for guys. Can't forget the men. Yes. So that's perfect for them, especially the ones that are hard to shop for. And you have them on your list. You're like, I don't know what to get them. So exactly. Young guy, young kids that are going mm -hmm. off to college. This is perfect gift for them very too. Very very classy. Like that. Then so the next thing we have is the wax scent candles so they take recycled bottles and they make the they cut them they fill them with hand poured candles uh, in the beautiful scents and so you could take um, uh, your glass and they can cut it for you and you can mm -hmm. take that special bottle that means a lot to you yeah, and you can do some beautiful things something sentimental S that maybe means something to you and then they yes and they're candles. amazingly oh. smelling candles and I just oh, love being next me. to them anytime at oh. markets yes yes so much fun and their cubs
up. They do jewelry, they, it's super cute. They do super cute jewelry, and it's great for teacher gifts, for uh, stocking stuffers for little kids. She does these little uh, ornament balls that you break open, and then you can build your own little bracelet. And they, what? and it's like, that one That's says jolly, is. that is, that is. Oh and it's so cute goodness. for little girls, like for yes. your daughter. That'd be perfect. Give them something to do, right? Exactly. Right. It's a great stocking stuffer. It and absolutely is. And then we have these cards. Love you, Mucho. I love, love, love her work. I cannot talk enough about about her and her work. Beautifully uh, designed cards. She came out with some Christmas cards this year. Love them. You got to get your uh, hands so on them. Then the next pretty. thing we have is the Essentials by Fa by Fabi. She does these really cool bath steamers. These uh, cute little scrubs, and I love the little. The Just little, the little detail there. Is, the little uh, snow yes, globes. With so, a donut. <laughs> with a donut. So bath, uh, bath, bath bomb with a little little, little bouncy ball afterwards. Perfect mm -hmm. gift. And this uh, is eucalyptus you said right here? Eucalyptus. And they put them in the shower, right? You put them in the those shower. Steamers. And with the hot water, so it's a nice oh. little relax after that busy day mm -hmm. of all of the parties and the kids yes. and everything. Oh. What a wonderful way to Sounds come so home nice. to something like this. Perfect gift for moms. Don't forget hint, moms. Hint, hint. hint. <laughs> and, and then of last course. Last but not least. Yes. Um, so these are my nutcrackers that I did this year. I love gnomes, did them last year, do them all year round, and I did these beautiful uh, nutcrackers that are real kind of Scandinavian Scandinavian in design, and then of course the Mexican hot chocolate gnomes with the marshmallows. Oh, great for that. teacher guests. Yes, explain that one, because that is adorable. So so it's it's Mexican hot chocolate in the bottom, and then mm -hmm. marshmallows on top, and you and I have the instructions there, so you can make your own little cup of hot chocolate. Great for teachers. Yes. Great for gifts like that. Thank you. You're helping yes. me right now with everybody on my <laughs> list, and awesome. this obviously means a lot to you, because you you are it a does. local business owner. I'm a small business owner as well. All I do is just pop-ups and, and markets such as that. I, I am not in a brick and mortar store. None of these people are in a brick and mortar store. Okay. We rely 100% on, on our customers. And so you can find us either at different markets or online. All of us have a huge social media presence. Yep. You can find us there for all of these wonderful products. Great. A great way to support women owned and locally owned, locally owned businesses. businesses. And we have all of their information on salive.com. Just click the as seen on the SA Live tab and you'll find all the links for everything you saw here today. Stephanie, thank you for doing thank this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. And of course, you know, things that you, yeah. you make on your own by hand are some of the best gifts that you can give too. Yes, and our friends at Abby's Attic have a few ideas for, for you. All right, and we have that handmade gift giver with us today. Jennifer Nicolella, owner of Abby's Attic Sewing Studio, is here to show us how to make those gifts. They're just perfect for this time of year. These like are the ones that are treasured, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Anything handmade is made from the heart. That's right. So people are going to appreciate it. Okay, what are we making today? Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is make this adorable little Santa mask. And all of these templates are online for free um, on our website. But all you have to do is print out and cut out the felt pieces for the mustache, okay. and I'm gonna let Fiona do that. So all you do is you hand sew um, these pieces together, and I've just got one uh, example right here, but you can hand sew it any way you want. Um, so <laughs> she, all, all she's doing is she's attaching those two pieces together, and then we're gonna leave a little bit of a hole um, kind of around the top, and when she's got that mustache basically put together. Almost. No worries. Almost. Okay, now, hand around. sewing takes time, you guys. Yes, and that's why you have great classes for this stuff, yes, right? Yes, we have hand sewing classes, we have uh, machine sewing classes in person and online. And if you think you can't learn how to sew um, with an online class, you're wrong. We can totally teach you. It's very easy. So um, lots of online classes, too. And we have kid stuff. Um, all of the things that you see here are actually beginner-friendly and kid-friendly. So um, yeah, take a look at our website and our classes and see some of the examples of things that kids have made in our shop. Okay, so now that I've got that done, now I'm going to stuff the mustache. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Stuff your stash. Mm -hmm. Okay, get that in there. And it doesn't have to be really, really full. It's mm -hmm. a lot easier to, to sew together if it's not super, super full. Okay, there Perfect. we go. And then All you right. would just keep going, right? And then you would just keep going, you got it. All right, so then I will seal this shut. And then okay. what is the next step? So while she's doing that, let's pretend that I've already stuffed this mm -hmm. guy. Um, you can also find a pattern for this contoured face mask on our website, or at least a link to it. And once you get your um, mustache pieces sewn and your beard, which we'll get to in a second, you just hand stitch it on your mask. And it doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, this is just for a couple more weeks anyway, so hopefully <laughs> hopefully we won't need these next year. But um, so yeah, that's what you do. You just stitch it on. 
And then this cute little guy, this is all felt, right? So you just print this out from our website. Um, the little stitch lines you can use to, to stitch by hand or you can follow them with your sewing machine. And then you'll get these cute little curly beard tendrils for your Santa mask. And see, and the one thing I noticed while doing it is it's therapy, you know? It totally it's, is. It's almost meditative, and yes. I think that's really good for a lot of folks right yes, now, right? Yes, especially right now. Place it mustachey. There you Mustache go. Mustachey. There we go. Yep, mm -hmm. and then we'll sew it on, and yeah. uh, that's and a that good start. Be, there we go. There you okay. go. All right. All right, what's the next thing we're doing? So the next thing is if you want to grab one of those ugly sweaters. Mm -hmm. Right off the cynical Christmas tree. <laughs> you just cut them out of felt or denim or whatever you have hanging out. And then you can use scrapbooking stickers, you can use jingle bells, um, you can use buttons, anything that kind of goes with the ugly sweater theme. And you just stick them on. So feel free to take some stickers and, and go to town. Stick them on. And this yeah. is what's great. This is a great one for the kids. Totally. You know, and where they, you know, decorate some ornaments. And every year you get to keep those and add them to the tree. Yes. And over the years you get to see that progression. Absolutely. If folks wanted to take classes, do they need a sewing machine? They do not. We have plenty to teach people on. Um, we have hand sewing classes, beginner classes, intermediate classes. Pretty much anything you want to learn how to sew, we got it. We got you covered. All right, there we go. That's and good. you just use pipe cleaners, right, yes. for the little hanger. Pipe cleaners or um, a paper clip. <laughs> Jennifer Nicolella, owner of Abby's Attic, thank you so much. For more information on Abby's Attic, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. It's getting chilly outside, and that means it's time to make chili. Still ahead, Chef Cesar Zapeta shows us how to cook an at home version of his sangria on the Berg chili. And next on the show, James Avery shares what's new this holiday season with a few stocking stuffer ideas for your loved ones. Right now, Baird Foundation Repair is getting in on the holiday spirit by hosting a toy drive. It's going to benefit Child Safe Winter Workshop from now until December 10th. Please donate new unwrapped donations for children ages 3 to 18 at the Baird Foundation Repair Office. It's located at 726 Hot Wells Boulevard. You can also bring coats and blankets, new clothing, books, gift cards, or hygiene products. All of these donations will make a world of difference to families in need. So get into the giving spirit and stop by with your gifts. More Essay Live ahead. Keep it here. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at James Avery Artisan Jewelry. They're giving us a sneak peek at their merry and bright new items to put on your list this year. And here with a gift guide is Lindsay Avery Tognetti, Director of Marketing Communication and Customer Service with James Avery Artisan Jewelry. Happy holidays! Thanks for having us here. Thanks, Always Fiona. so great to be around all the bling. So what's new for the holiday season? We're so excited because we have some awesome new things for holiday. Uh, Christmas is our favorite time of year and I think our customers are always really excited about the new Christmas charms naturally. So we have two really fun ones, the new gnome. Gnomes are everywhere this year so I think our timing was perfect. No place <laughs> like home. So I think it's a beautiful charm. The bead on there is neat because it's a glass bead that's actually hand blown. Um, the glass, each individual bead, as well as the enamel on there. I think many of our customers know our artisans in Kerrville do that by hand. And many of our uh, pieces are still done with hand touches. So I think that piece is awesome. And then the Feliz Navidad charm, customers have been loving it. I think, you know, in San Antonio, you hear people saying that all month long. So I think those will be great on a new Christmas charm bracelet, or if you just want to wear them on a necklace alone, I think they're really fun. The other cool thing is these changeable charm holder earrings. You can switch out any Christmas charm. So we've got the enamel Christmas tree and the candy canes, but you could change them out, put something else, put the Feliz Navidad on there, the little gnomes, and then after Christmas, they don't have to be seasonal anymore. Oh, so, what a great gift. That yeah. is the earring gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I think those could be yes. so fun at a Christmas party. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, you have a bring back favorite too, yes, right? Yes, we do. I think that's really special about the brand. Our customers let us know when they love something and they want it to come back. So these rose earrings and the ring were actually released in uh, 19. 
1980. And customers have been telling us, you know, through social, replying to all our different marketing, like, bring them back. <laughs> and we did, and everybody is so delighted. I think, you know, that there's a nostalgia in these old pieces, but also just a timelessness. Um, they're still really relevant now. They come in gold and silver. So really, anybody on your list, I think this would be a great gift for. And new Faith pieces, too? Yes, Faith is also so important. Uh, the Virgin of Guadalupe, another customer favorite in the charm. So we decided we needed to keep offering different designs. Uh, the necklace, the bracelet, and we've got the earrings, and it comes in 14 karat gold as well. And all this beautiful, I mean, jewelry is just bringing up Christmas memories. So do you have something here that reminds you of, you know, the holidays and Christmas? Totally. So the our, our ornament tradition, the new one is the Southwestern uh, ornament. I think our tradition of ornaments is so special. I can picture our Christmas tree, you know, with the new ornament. I have one from the year I was born. For the boys, I think I'm going to get the teddy bear and put their names on there. So I think that tradition is so special to so many customers. So engraving makes it unique and that's something you can do with any of our items but especially the ornaments and that's the thing is you can really personalize you know the gifts that you find here and it's not just in store folks can shop online as well and even at select uh, department stores and airports right yes we're really wherever you are we make it really easy to shop and a lot of our locations have um, where you can buy online pick up in store and curbside all right they're making it easy for you yep. this Christmas season so many thoughtful and personalized gifts for you to choose from thank you so much Thanks, Lindsay. Fiona. all right you can find a James Avery store near you online at jamesavery.com slash stores. And for more information, just call 1-800-283-1770. He's already got it stewing with him. That looks okay. absolutely incredible. And Chef Cesar Tepeda, thank you so much for being on the show today with us. Now, Absolutely. Uh, you, no matter what time of the year, right? Chili's just delicious. It's chili Always. season. And uh, right now, you're going to be showing us how to make this recipe at home using all the ingredients in front of us. But, I mean, you've been a busy man. Very. So you're representing a couple different restaurants. You got them on, you like NASCAR right now. So talk <laughs> got to me a few about, concepts. Yeah, talk to me about the concepts here. Okay, so everybody knows Sangria, that's with tacos, sliders, it's my baby. Uh, Alamo Biscuit Company, brunch place, and we just opened Riverwalk, which is a ghost kitchen out of Alamo Biscuit doing uh, Asian noodle style bowls. There you go. That's cool. I love the ghost kitchen concept. That's a whole different show. Oh, we yeah. can talk. <laughs> it's fun. But it's fun. It's a whole yep. different thing. But uh, right now, we're talking chili. And we sure. had just talked about, you know, you like putting the beans into the oh, yeah. chili. So what's the first step you do to make this recipe? Well, we, we buy some great ingredients. It's very simple. This is a one pot dish, which whoever's washing dishes will love you. <laughs> so that's great. So I, I start with a chunky beef. Like, you know, everybody puts, I, I like I like big old pieces of steak in there. Ooh. So we're going to sear that off. Um, next, is, I mean, you can get ground beef, but HEB does one that's ground for chili. It's a coarse ground. You can see it's not as like real fine. Yeah. So both of those go in, get that a sear. I put a little oil in there. Yeah. Um, just a little olive oil. Okay. Um, everything else, like you can make this as spicy as you want. So I like it. Yeah, it's, kick it's, it up a little yeah. bit, and you can be as fancy as you want, right? You exactly. have a seasoning over there that's actually like a fancy. <laughs> you know, it's fancy like chili powder. I don't, I don't know what's fancy, but I feel fancy standing by it. Yeah, yeah, you feel better using it, right? <laughs> now, the meat on the inside, when you're sure. searing it and this process here, that's locking in the flavors. Can you overcook it at this point? Not really. You're going to come come with some water after this so it gets nice and tender. So I just like to brown it a little bit, get that caramelization going, yeah. and then come in with all the rest of your things. Like I said, it's a one pot. Everything goes in. Kind of set it and just let it chill out for about an hour and uh, boil in the water we're going to put there in a second. Why is chili so good during this time of the year? It, it's, it reminds me of football, which we're in the middle of football season. Uh, it's not that cold, but it should be cold. <laughs> when it's cold, it's just a warm dish. You put a little cornbread, put a little cheese, Fritos, whatever you want in it. It's very versatile. And you have all the accoutrement that we'll be adding on top here. So sure. once that is uh, is done searing off in there, you kind of throw all these all these items here. So kind of walk us through what you got. Sure. Onion. I, I love onions. Really good flavor enhancer. So that goes in. Um, I put about two onions in this. And it looks uh, like a rough chop. Rough chop. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't have to, this is this is pretty simple. Garlic. You're cooking a long time, so I'll put whole garlic in. Okay. Um, for me, there's not enough garlic, but um, <laughs> there are about five or ten cloves. I did de-seed these jalapenos. Like you don't have to. Yeah. You can leave the seeds in. I have red and green, um, but these are de-seeded, so they're not too too uh, too hot. If you like heat. Add them in, right? Exactly. Throw the seeds in. That, the seeds are where the spice is. So if you want that sure. spice, throw it on in. Just leave it in there. Um, two tomatoes. You can get ones with chilies. You can get 
one that are whole. I like to chop it up and make it easy in there. That goes in there as well. Oh, look at you. It's just, you know it, what? It, Instantly, when you, when you start adding all these in, the smell, it starts smelling Coming. chili. Even if you haven't put the chili powder in, exactly. but it smells like you're making something tasty over there. This is the kicker. This is my, my family's thing, ranch style beans. And I'll get <laughs> I'll get some hate mail for it. I know I will, but this is just my dad did it, and I just love doing it. And it's uh, ranch style beans goes in there. There you go. And you know what? Um, I grew up with my mom adding ranch style beans to her rice. So she would make like a Mexican rice at home, and then she would put the ranch style beans in the rice. And that was kind of the flavor that I grew up with. If it's, it's, if it's how you grew up with it, it's right. Yeah. So it's little, fun. Little of this fancy chili, chili powder in there. Yep. Salt and pepper to taste, so I'll let you leave that. Uh, a couple bay leaves and then uh, a little bit of water. There you go. The beauty of this dish is you put a bunch of water and you just let it go, stir it occasionally, come back every uh, every few minutes to give it a stir, but everything's in there. You're gonna be really happy. It's a single it's a single thing to do that your whole family will like. My kids love it. You made um, enough for the whole army right there. I <laughs> did, I knew you were coming. I knew there you were go. coming. All right, I'm gonna load up this Let's bowl here. This is the final product. This has been working down for a while. You can see everything's nice and reduced. It has a really good texture to it. It has a really good smell. Now, do you guys have any holiday specials, holiday uh, meal packs that you guys are doing at any one of your mini restaurants? You got the at Sangria, we'll do a, uh, a uh, smoked ham. Um, so we'll get that going um, with uh, everything you need, mashed potatoes, green beans, a whole package for a family. Um, so I'll do one real quick as well. There you go. Build it up here. Build it up. And again, you put yep. whatever you want. My kids like to put like equally amounts of cheese to chili. Mm. Oh, dude. Well, I'm going to so eat good. a real bite here in a second. But thank you so much for coming on the show. Absolutely. Showing you a simple recipe. You guys get more information on Chef Caesar's Zepeda, this recipe. Head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Welcome back to our tamale show. And it makes you want to dance when you're eating tamales, especially when you've got this guy here. <laughs> Hey! Yes. Oh, How are you guys doing Donna. again? Chalitas Express joins us, and you are going to help us up our tamale game with some special flavors, right? Yes, ma'am. So and good to see you again, it, sir. Good to see you, Mike. All right. Fiona. Yeah. It is just that delicacy, and especially when somebody else makes them. But you're going to give us the tips on how to make them. Specifically, Fiona is going to try what tamale. Well, Oh, what, to make it easy for uh, usually, what I do is like uh, you grab a piece of plastic like you have over there, and you cut it in half. Then you put your, uh, then you put your husk underneath. There you go. Mm -hmm. and then, then you I'm put a spoon of uh, your masa, which your masa has been a little already been flavored with all your secrets. Okay. But you yeah. know what makes a good tamale? And before you do the top two secret uh, ingredients is music and love. Ah. That's the only way you can make a good tamale. Yes. You know, this is a great trick, and the other thing is, because a lot good. of people might want to use uh, like saran wrap, hand but or, that's yeah. not yes. that's not hefty enough. So a, right. a Ziploc bag is the perfect thickness yes, of sir. plastic. Yes, sir. And then right? you just fold it, fold the plastic over. Fold the plastic on, over. Really slippery. <laughs> you'll, <laughs> okay. you'll get used to it. <laughs> okay. 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 Just okay. press on it, and now uh, you start pressing the masa, and just lay it nicely. Throughout the uh, a work of art. Look at that. Look how right. beautiful. And then you feel you pull, pull up your plastic. Okay. There you go. Nice. Okay. Now you're gonna feel it. Now you're gonna grab some cream cheese chicken. And then just it's our put it on there. Favorite. You want it just put, so, right? Yeah. Like about that. Make sure you put a lot. Oh, I'm going. Yeah. Over. A little don't more. skimp on this. I'm not, I'm not. Stuff. How's that? How's that? Is that good? That's perfect. Okay. Now you grab your husk mm -hmm. and roll it over. Roll. Maybe you put a little too much cheese, but Please. there's never enough cheese. No. Uh, yeah. Be, Amen. Hey, sir. Mine. There we go. Close it up. <laughs> yeah, it, roll it up real good. Pull the tail back up. And it goes into the steamer. And then about how long would they steam? About an hour. Okay. Yeah. All right. Depends. And once you have the tamales, you know, a lot of folks just eat them as is, one after the other. But you've got a great way to serve it well, in yes. a casserole form, right? Well, uh, we do a tamale casserole. Okay. Yeah. Which is, uh, in this case, uh, we're going to put a layer of beans. Mm. All right. Refry beans, any recipes you want, your grandma's recipe, mm -hmm. your own recipe. You put a layer of beans on the bottom. Okay. Spread it all real nice, all over. 
All right, and That's then you're, take, then you're gonna grab your tamale, and you want to be careful because you want to keep them whole. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then you put your tamale in there. That's a cream cheese chicken tamale. Another. And if you want to, you could you could combine all the flavors too if you wanted to, uh -huh. right? Okay. Right. And just keep lining all these up in yes, here. Yes, sir. Just lay uh, lay them all out. So and, and while he's you know kind of layering that casserole, what is the best way to reheat? A well, tamale? a lot of people know this this way to reheat, but for the people that don't know mm -hmm. about much about tamales, but uh, see right there, you put it on the skillet and you burn it. Uh, the husk a little bit, so you heat up the tamale, and then what does that that burn flavor infuses into the tamale and give it an extra flavor, which is like a smoky flavor. And it, with some eggs in the morning, uh, you can it, it it just add a, a different flavor to the tamale. Yeah. And and the nice thing is because the tamale inside mm -hmm. won't get burnt, but it's just it won't get all it's the, the outside. That that you it. get that smoky flavor, like a in early in the morning with a nice cup of coffee, with a couple of eggs, with that uh, tamale cook. Yes. I know, I know. I know what I'm having for breakfast tomorrow. I know. Now. Yeah. I know. All right. All right. So we've got the, the uh, tamales in here and then some of your great sauce. And this is what yeah. your grandmother made? Yeah. My mom, that's our Chilito signature sauce. That's good. Okay. Our signature sauce, the comes in mild and spicy. Is uh, our recipe has been on our family for about 70 years. And if folks want to get this, and they then you lay, lay them all out. Right? There you go. Yeah, spread them all out nicely. Okay. And then, bang, some cheese everywhere. Oops, not so cheese. Not on, yeah. Everywhere, but not on the table, obviously. Right. So. And then you put it on this. the oven, 350 degrees. And, and smack out. Here we you go. Know? Ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, it's ready. And then here's oh my God. the finished product. Look yeah. at that. Now, that sauce, where, where can folks find it if they, if they wanted to? Our it? location in Bernie, 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 Texas. And worth the drive, right? It is worth the drive, I promise you. <laughs> yes. And you know who loves tamales? Especially who? in December and during Christmas, <laughs> guess who? Uh, Ma! Ah! Hey! Santa loves tamales. So do you leave uh, tamales uh, by the fireplace under the tree instead of milk and cookies for Santa Claus? Exactly. Forget about it. Yeah. Well, it's no, no more cookies, no a, more. A couple of eggs and uh, those roasted tamales right there, and that would yeah. be fantastic. So if people want to head on out, you said you're out uh, in toward Bernie, right? Yes, sir. Bernie, Texas is about 20 minutes from San Antonio. I promise you, it's worth the drive. We, and we got plenty. I will recommend to pre-order your yeah. tamales now on our online uh, website because uh, uh, we limited. We have limited production. We are a small family business, right? Uh, so it it, it it gets busy. So I would recommend, highly recommend, to pre-order your tamales now. All okay. right, Al Maldonado, Chilitos Express, and ChilitosExpress.com for more information. And all that's on our website. This is a great casserole. <laughs> casserole tamale. You ever have a casserole? A tamale casserole? No, I have now, and it's yeah. wonderful. <laughs>
items there as well, right? Yes, we have brownies, cookies, as well as cookie cakes, which we have over there as well. Um, also, something that came out today is our banana bread. Um, it had been around for a while and we brought it back. So we're so excited to have our banana bread. Mm. So you can order that by the by the slice That's or right. you can mm -hmm. order a bigger cake of it. And speaking of, you have your holiday options right here. Yes. So tell me about these three. All right, so we have our sweater weather roll, which is um, our banana bread and our bananas, walnuts and powdered sugars, so good. Um, our other new holiday roll is our spiced apple cobbler with our warm apples and um, everything you can think oh, of so that would good. be on an apple cobbler. And then we always have our favorites, which are um, the Cookie Monster and the South Town Brew. Those are just staples that people just love. And this isn't the only kit that folks can get from you, right? Correct, yes. You can get a um, cookie dough take and bake kit, mm -hmm. which is so great you can eat it raw. Mm -hmm. Or we have also baking instructions, so you can bake cookies at home, and we'll also bring, uh, give you a frosting bag and some topping choices, so you can decorate and um, enjoy. Delicious. And that one in front of you, you have to tell me what that is. Yeah, the South Town Brew. It is a fan favorite. It's got the pecans, it's got the cookie dust, or um, coffee dust, and coconut. It is so good. Oh, it looks amazing. I know. And Stop it. All right, so now we have, because folks can come in and they can basically build their own, right? Yes. We have over 20 frostings and topping choices. So you start off with a freshly baked cinnamon roll and you just top it with whatever frosting you choose, then top it with as many toppings. So you can go the chocolate route, mm -hmm. the, the um, strawberry, route. strawberry fruit mm -hmm. route. It's so good. What's your good. favorite? Do you have a favorite? You know, I <laughs> love, if I'm doing chocolates, I want chocolate all the way. We have chocolate yes. sauce, we have caramel, we have chocolate cookies, I mean, I'm a big chocolate fan, um, but we also have a fruit roll, which is our breakfast in bed, which is very, very mm. popular. It has all the berries and some powdered sugar. It is delicious. Oh my goodness. And so how many choices do folks have when they come in? They have over 20 frosting and over 20 um, topping choices. So you create your own dream cinnamon roll. Well, all right. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. Look at this, how sweet that looks. Mm -hmm. But you also have something going on for the holidays. You're giving back, right? Yes. we are are doing a toy drive so we are partnering with the children's um, shelter and here in San Antonio so anyone can come in bring an unwrapped brand new toy mm -hmm. and they can receive any cookie choice that they'd like and it all benefits the San Antonio mm -hmm. Children's Shelter and for those who are not aware where are you guys located we are at 812 South Alamo so we are right near Gus's fried chicken and near Rosario's and you have a tip about parking right yes parking it is so great we have a parking Parking lot right there where you can um, get a ticket and we will validate it for you. you validate. So, That's validate. That. Very validate. Very yes, so don't know. miss out on that. Again, <laughs> located at 812 South Alma Street in the heart of Southtown. And for more information on Cineholic, just head over to our website, salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. It has been a San Antonio tradition for more than 50 years and more than 300 people are involved in putting on Christmas at First, the production at First Baptist Church of San Antonio. And here to tell us about this year's production is Dr. Aaron Hufty, Associate Pastor of Worship and Music. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay. This is just going to be one of those moving performances. What can people expect? Well, it's it's so great to be back together. The, the gang's all here. We've got choirs of all ages, you know, children from five years old to folks that are approaching Approaching 90, we've got wow. all over the place and we're singing some Christmas favorites. And that's the thing this year is we, I wanted to give people something that'll really make them feel uh, like they belong. And so lots of uh, arrangements of things that you know and are familiar with. And so live orchestra, it's just fantastic. You said it's like a giant Christmas holiday. But they're just it's grabbing you with, with what you love. Great way to describe yeah, it. So right. what are you doing differently this year? Well, what's different this year, Mike, is the fact that we're back together. You know, we last year we were pre-recorded. We were spread out all over the sanctuary and we couldn't be together like we have been for so long. And so this this is going to be, it's going to feel right to be back in the sanctuary together with a, with a live audience and, and everybody together so um, there's a lot of familiar and that's so not different as much as it is just to get back 
doing what we love at this time of year. Okay, and this year it is the work of Christmas. That's right. What's that? Well, it's based on a poem that I've loved for years. It's by uh, the poem is by a pastor named Howard Thurman, um, early part of the uh, 20th century, and he wrote this thing. And the theme of it is basically Jesus didn't come for a big party. He didn't come for Christmas trees. Don't get me wrong. I love a good Christmas tree, and 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 the lights and presents are great. But you know, Jesus came to to give hope and and to to really give us a way forward. And so uh, he came when the shepherds are gone, the angels are gone. That's when the work of Christmas begins, to give people um, food and, and shelter and love and, and a way forward. And, and that's, that's what Jesus came to do, give us hope. And productions like this, like you said, it's like a big hug. And it really just, I mean, just gets you deep down inside and that's makes right. you feel so good. That's right. What else should we know? Well, I just, it's free. Um, we, we want, this is our gift to the city. And so as, as you come to be a part of this in, in the second week of December, it, we want you to, to be our guest. Um, if you're not able to be with us though, um, on KSAT 12 at um, nine o'clock on Christmas day, we're gonna have a rebroadcast. And so, so we'd love for you to, to, as your opening presence, that in my house by nine o'clock, that's long gone. <laughs> but you know, That's when morning nap time that's is. That's right. Turn on, turn on KSAT and, and you can watch the program again and, and relive it with this, it's really wonderful. And your church is celebrating a big, big anniversary this year, 160 years. 160 years, and it is a, a real joy all year long. We've been doing um, different projects throughout the city and in, in the church just to let folks know that we've been here a while, we're quite an institution, and we're here for the good of the city. Well, as excited as you are about it, I know it's gonna be a fantastic show. So First Baptist Church of San Antonio presents Christmas at First, the work of Christmas on December 11th and 12th at 6 p.m. For more information, call 210 226-0363 or visit fbcsa.org slash Christmas at first. Aaron, thank you very much and Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. Hey, it's Fiona and Jen on the next SA Live. It's day three of KSAT's 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. Find out what you can win. That's right. Prizes, 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 and that and much more. next week because we're going to have even more holiday fun. Oh yeah, and more prizes too. So think about that. Have a great weekend everybody.